the nurse, like a magician, pulls back the curtain divider, and my father is there. The first time in a decade, he is there, half asleep, his blind eye half open. He seems smaller now, the way anything is smaller when violence outgrows its host. It's funny how I remember most the flaring octave of his laughter. His hands, mostly skin now, pull vacant and deliberate at my sleeve as if to close the blinds over my too bright gaze. Who are you? He asks. I'm forgiving enough to know that he probably knew who I was, just didn't want to be wrong. Or he did want to be wrong. It takes this for me to remember that I was born here, in this very hospital, a clot in my father's shadow, a dark spore rummaging his blood for an exit. It's me. It's me, I say, until his eyes open, then close, then open. I want to laugh at his body, its strange desire to, con to continue outside the window. The season is changing, but in here, I'm still dragging mud into every conversation. In this and many worlds, time is a conversation that continues to move whether or not you are paying attention. Don't ask me anything important. If I would prefer a dead father over one that's just gone, I don't know how to answer that, how to mourn an empty room. I learned this trick. In order not to be swallowed by grief, I threw my old heart and ran in the other direction. Though it's funny how it is my father now asking me to stay. At this point, forgiveness is a grave I lower myself into when I'm too tired. I close my eyes and let the dirt cover my face. <laughs>